Hey Italians! Today I'm going to transform myself into a slew of memes. Memes. In the spirit of Halloween. Actually, I'm really just doing this because I want to and I'm using Halloween to justify my weird desires, but moving on. <laughs> now, first of all, we all know about Jojo Siwa's high ponytail signature look. She's very particular about putting it up on the left, left side. side. By the way, this is the right, this is the left. I'm So I thought I'd try to recreate it because my hairline's not far enough back as it is already. And maybe like the balding middle-aged man look is gonna be the next trendy thing in fashion. There's a lot of pressure to make this smooth hair because Jojo Siwa likes zero 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 zero, 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 zero bumps in her hair, which is not a lot of bumps. But my hair is a bumpy ride. My hair can't be subdued like that. Her hair is... It's been trained. It's been trained well. Now we grab four hair ties, which she calls ponytails, ponytails. but that just makes me think of four ponytails holding up her ponytail, so I'm gonna call them hair ties. Just for clarity, you know. I was looking in the comments section of her hair tutorial and someone said her hairline ain't coming back like a boomerang <laughs> and I am so tempted to steal that joke because it's hella accurate. Actually, it's so accurate that I don't know if you can even call it a joke. Like seriously, soon Jojo is going to pass balding middle-aged man status and just head straight into like completely bald granddad town. Population her. <laughs> bald? More like bold. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting a facelift? Plastic surgeons hate Jojo Siwa for her one simple trick to wrinkle-free skin for life. Click this article to find out more. And get a virus. I'm gonna destroy my hair. And if you know Jojo, you know that she's Jojo with a bobo. But I didn't have a bobo. So, uh... <laughs> I made this. I'm sorry, it's literally so underwhelming because I didn't have any fabric. So I thought I'd make it out of paper and then I couldn't find my colored paper so it just looks like Jojo Siwa has been blanched of all her vibrance and joy. So basically, it looks like Jojo in a few years from now. We all know what's gonna happen. It happens to us all. I need to look in the actual mirror, hold on. I don't know if my eyebrows will ever go down again. But, speaking of eyebrows... Next up, I'm going to be giving myself Life with Max eyebrows. <laughs> Calm down, guys. I'm just kidding. I've already got them. No, but really, Life with Max literally just looks like my more successful little sister. So I have to incorporate her into this video somehow. And what better way to do that but go all out and recreate her full glam makeup look? Or should I say, makeup look? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna get really good at this one day if I keep this up. I mean, not one day soon or anything, but one day we're, we're going, going places. places. And you know what I just got? I have this on the carpet and on my jeans. What do I even do? Um, Where's my maid? Oh, that's right, we're too poor to have one. <laughs> Uh, Christ is slightly averted. I already had so many stains on my jeans that it just kind of blends in now. It's fine. Now back to what I was saying. You know what I discovered while I was watching this? Well guys, I think, and you're not gonna believe this, we might have finally found someone that talks faster than Jojo Siwa! <laughs> totally legit, don't, don't question it, okay? Also, I'm not actually gonna follow her tutorial, like, at all, because your girl does not have all those different products and brushes and shit. She's not about to go buy them, that's for sure. She does love talking about herself in third person though. Talia who? I only know she. Next thought in her eyebrows? I don't have any eyebrow stuff. That looks bad. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, we're moving right on to highlighter. Which I also don't have, so now we're moving on to blush. And by blush, I meant contour, because I'm just substituting this for bronzer. And yes, I know I don't have the right brushes for this, okay? Your girl's not a makeup guru. She's an ASMR queen. Oh, she also put some highlight on her nose, her eyebrows, and her chin. Uh, all places I really don't want to draw attention to on my face, but, uh... You know, is there any place on my face I want to draw attention to? Not particularly. Now, finally, for the one thing I do have that she used a little bit of... Blush! I just have kind of a red face. I think I always look like I'm blushing and just, just a little bit. Maybe it's a positive thing. Am I embarrassed? Am I not embarrassed? I don't know. You don't even know. I'm trying to rub it all off now at this point. Okay, now for the eyeshadow. She commented that she actually did it in the wrong order. She put the pink where the purple should be. Like, she's colorblind. Like, Logan Paul levels of colorblindness here. But, you know, I think that just makes this look that much more iconic. So I'm rolling with it. I look like a rainbow. Next up we got some blue mixed in with some purple because <laughs> I forgot to clean the brush off. Every time I do makeup I can feel all of my subscribers that wear makeup slowly unsubscribing. 
If my jeans weren't stained enough already, they're now going to be polka dotted with beautiful colours. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't hold this together. Alright, dope. Now it's time to permanently discolour my eyebrows. Eyelashes. I meant to say eyelash, I'm so- uh. Now she smeared some mascara on her face and she seemed pretty panicked about it, but uh, again, just that little bit more iconic. Whoa, fashion emergency, someone call the mascara ambulance. I don't know how I come up with such stupid stuff sometimes. I really just, my brain goes to the weirdest places. Does I have a cold sore? Does that mean that I'll get it back next time I use this lipstick? It's like, damn dude, that would really ruin my plans of recreating this makeup look every day for the rest of my life. Awesome, do I look like Mac if she was about to go out on a night on the town? No. Do I look like I just fell into a puddle of colorful mud? Yeah. No, not a really complete this look. I need a Gucci outfit. And by Gucci, I mean good, not actual Gucci, cause she's not rolling in dough out here. Catch me outside. Now if I really wanted to go full out Jojo Siwa, I could literally just go to the baby factory, which by the way is a baby shop in in the cargo and not a place where they actually manufacture babies. I know, I was disappointed when I heard too. Anyway, I could go there and just buy some clothes for toddlers because Jojo Siwa is literally a 5'9 giant toddler and it concerns me. But Jojo's clothes are just so... figure hiding. You know, and I have a great figure. Wonderful. Magnificent. I have ripped ads and everything, trust me. So instead, I'm going down the stark opposite route and dressing like... You guessed it, Danielle Broccoli. <laughs> I've chosen to replicate this kind of outfit because when I think of Danielle Brigoli, I think, well, I think of the Catch Me Outside thing, but apart from that, I think of this. Also, I have these clothes, kind of, and I don't have many clothes, so do we gotta work with what we got here, okay? How about that? I just realized that I have to change my shirt, and I don't really know how I'm gonna, like, surpass the obstacle that is my hair. My bow. <laughs> Literally <laughs> climbing out of it. And into it. How high can I roll this singlet up before being demonetized? Oh, wait, I'm not monetized anyway. I might as well just take it off. No, okay. It's not Danielle Brigoli if we're not showing some midriff. And by some midriff, I mean, why did I even bother putting this thing on at all? Actually, wait, hold on. Okay, I'm not suggesting that Danielle Brigoli stuffs her bra. I'm just saying that my breasts are small and humble. Which is lucky, otherwise you might confuse them with mountains. And trust me and Shakira on this one, that would be awful. to simultaneously look like you listen oh, to kids bop and like mainstream star. rap. Well, I guess kids bop rap exists for a reason and that reason is Mac Joe Brigoli aka me right now. I have just christened myself. Uh, so this is the final look. I'll give you a full 360 and then I'll keep doing it so I look like that seal guy. <laughs> Great. You know what they say? Imitation yeah. is a serious form. I don't know either. I just want to go eat.